Hello, my name is Lauren Bennett, and when I got my assessment back, I had a 27 point gap in decision making. That was very unexpected for me as I thought I was good at decision making because I make decisions every day. Then I started thinking about the process in which I go about making those decisions. And then I realized that I don't have a process. I don't take certain steps in making my decisions every day not in little decisions or big decisions, I just go on what I'm feeling at the time. So after that, I decided to write down ways I can make better decisions and make the decision process easier for myself. My first way of coming up with the proper decision would be to make pros and cons. At the top of the page, I would list where what the decision is to be made and I would list all the pros and all the cons for each decision for that. Another thing I can do to help better make decisions is to write out my schedule for the week on this whiteboard and it will also allow me to keep track of time so I can better take time to make my decisions. This could work easily for a research paper I need to write. I could set myself my own deadline to have my research topic done and then another one to have the outline created. So that way I can better make the decision of how I want the paper done and what topic I want the paper on. This can also lead to better grades and a better lived life. I can also make myself notes for each decision with the pros and cons listed as before and my own decision deadline at the bottom. On this, I can post it to my whiteboard as a constant reminder to have my decisions made at a certain time. For doing this, I plan to set my goals for a specific amount of time so I'm going to give myself six months to do this. I will measure my success by how often I meet the deadlines that I give myself for each project and whether my decisions seem more thorough and thought out. Ultimately, by the end of my six month deadline, I hope to be making easier and smarter decisions. My ultimate goal would be to go into the assessment center and take the same assessment but have a smaller gap than I had this past time. I also hope to improve my decision making skills and that will also allow me to have better time management and leadership skills in the end. Thank you.